Hey guys, today I have this new lip stain from Bite Beauty. So this is the Outburst Longwear Lip Stain. It's 30 Canadian dollars or 24 US dollars and you get 0 0.0 ounces or two grams of product. I really like the packaging for this. It's really just sleek and simple. That soft matte finish and it's just like a clean tube. Not much to it, but I love a simple, sleek packaging. And it's just a regular lipstick looking thing on the inside. So they have three shades. They came out with Strawberry Frosé, which is a hot pink. They have Orange Fizz, which is the one I got and I'm wearing right now. It's a bright orange coral. And then there's Sangria Slush, which is a bold true red. These shades are all really nice. They're nice and bright and really flattering. Nice shades for kind of spring and summer. So this is supposed to be a hydrating, intensely bold lip stain. It's supposed to be waterproof, long wearing and lightweight. I have this footage of me applying it here. It goes on really easy. The pigment is just shows up right away. Um, it just applies like a regular old lipstick. Like it's not exactly what I would imagine a lip stain to be, like in a good way. When I think of lip stain, I think of just a really thin layer of color. It's kind of dry and this is not what that is at all. It goes on like a lipstick, just a regular bullet lipstick, but then it feels like a really nice lip balm. So it actually does feel hydrating and it doesn't feel like your lips are drying out at all. And then once the formula is on there, it doesn't exactly dry down. I must have applied this like two hours ago now and it's still transferring. I did it really lightly because I didn't want it to rub off, but it is still transferring onto my skin there. It doesn't dry down, but that's why it stays really comfortable and it doesn't suck all the moisture out of your lips because there's nothing worse than having your lips just feel dry. It looks bad and it's uncomfortable. You don't want that. So the fact that it doesn't dry down keeps it comfortable and it also lets you apply more layers on top. Like if I wanted to apply a bit more and touch it up, I totally could just go right in. I don't have to take anything off and start fresh. Can just layer it up as you go because it doesn't dry down in place. The finish is not really glossy or shiny. It does have a slight satin creamy finish, but it's definitely not matte. It really is just the best features you could ask for in a lip product. Like I don't have anything bad to say about this lip product at all. It goes on like a lipstick. You get great color payoff really easily, but it feels like a lip balm. Looks like a lipstick, feels like a lip balm. What more could you ask for? <laughs> and so it is a lip stain. So once the color wears off, once the formula is gone, you are left behind with a really beautiful stain. You don't have to worry about getting patchy because it's just gonna leave a stain and look like it's supposed to be that way, you know? It's just a really low maintenance, bold lip color. So I have um, these swatches in Sephora. I took swatches of all three shades so you could kind of see the difference. I only bought the one, the orange fizz, but I wanted you to see the shades side by side in case you were looking at any of the other shades and to kind of help you decide if you wanted to pick them up or not. And so it says it's waterproof and I would say the stain is waterproof, not necessarily the actual formula. Like the formula will just come off with nothing if you rub it off, but the stain that it leaves behind is definitely waterproof. So I'll show you these swatches that I took uh, the other day in Sephora. I applied them to my hand and I drove home and then it was probably like an hour later, I just took a tissue and rubbed the product off my hand, but it did leave behind quite a good stain, which is definitely waterproof. And um, I kind of forgot about it and then had a shower the next day and you know, did whatever I do in the shower. I didn't really pay attention to this. Like I didn't try and scrub it off, but when I got out of the shower, the swatches were still on my hands. So they're, I would say for sure waterproof. So this was just wiping it away with a tissue and you can see the stains that they all leave behind are kind of similar to one another, especially since the swatches were all so different. I was surprised to, I guess they all have kind of like pinks in them. So like that pink is kind of what is left behind and they all just look, they look pretty similar once they're just a stain left over. I thought that was pretty interesting. So yeah, I really have nothing bad to say about this product. It's actually really hydrating, um, so comfortable. It doesn't feel like I'm even wearing, it feels like I guess a lip balm. I've been wearing this for like one and a half or two hours. I don't even know, but it still looks really good and it still feels really comfortable. So I love that. It's hydrating, easy to get pigment, wears off so nicely so it doesn't get patchy and you don't have to worry about looking crazy. It just, it's a nice smooth transition from 
full on lipstick to just a nice little stain on your lips. So I can't really recommend this product enough. If you're looking for something like this, I'd say go for it. You won't be disappointed. Like I often choose to avoid these brighter shades because I just don't want to have to worry about the hassle of keeping up with it and making sure it looks good. But with this one, I don't have to worry about it. It's like does its own thing. Can pretty much guarantee that it'll just look good for hours. So, so I'm going to just do some chores. I'm going to make some dinner and um, I don't know, uh, I'll go about my day, but I'll let you see kind of how it just wears off so nicely. I've already been wearing this for a while, probably a couple hours now since uh, the clip where I was applying it there and it still looks good. We'll see how it looks in a few hours. Hello, I'm back. So it's been like five hours since I've applied this and you can see the stain is still going strong. Um, it does transfer a little bit, but like most of the product's kind of gone at this point. It seems to kind of get brighter and more pink as the formula kind of wears away and the stain comes out. It's like less orange than it originally goes on, but it still looks really nice. Yeah, not much else to say. Um, I really love this product. It's like everything I want a bold, bright lip color to be. Goes on like a lipstick, feels like a lip balm, feels really hydrating. Um, wears off gracefully so you don't have to worry about it. It's like, it's pretty awesome. I always get worried about bright shades because I never quite know if I'm gonna wear it or if it's gonna be good, but this one has worked out really well, so I'm loving it. Let me know if you're gonna try out this product. Let me know if you have tried it. Um, what shade are you gonna pick up? I would love to hear it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.